hello everyone welcome back once again in this video we will look at programming PHP inside Visual Studio 2019 but before we get started if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do so PHP is a popular general purpose scripting language that is especially suited to web development it was originally created by Rasmus Ledov in 1994 the PHP reference implementation is now produced by the is now produced by the PHP group. PHP originally stood for personal homepage, but it now stands for the recursive initialism PHP, which is a hypertest preprocessor. So PHP code is usually processed on a web server by a PHP interpreter, implemented as a module daemon or as a common gateway interface CGI executable. On a web server, the results of the interpreted and executed PHP code, which may be any type of data, such as a generated HTML or a binary image data would form the whole or part of the HTTP response. Various web template systems, web content management systems, and web framework exist, which can be employed to orchestrate or facilitate the generation of the response so now that we've actually get a brief history about of php let's get started so to be able to program php inside a visual studio you will need um, a php tools for visual studio so this is an extension for Visual Studio. So to get that started, yeah, we have to go inside of Visual Studio. As you can see, I've opened the Visual Studio blankly. So on the top bit here, we go to the extensions. So we open the manage extensions. So on the manage extensions side, we have to click on the online bits here. Then we have to search for PHP. So what we've got is usually the top the top result, which is the PHP tools for Visual Studio. So this is actually created by a DevSense, right? So this extension provides full featured support for editing and debugging PHP programs. So the PHP tools for Visual Studio transparently integrate into Visu Microsoft Visual Studio and extend it with the support for PHP language. The extension is focused on developer productivity, respecting convenient, con respecting conventions. It understands the code, provides smart code completion, quick navigation, error checking, code validation, code formatting, integrated PHP manual, built-in web server, debugging support test explorer integration and composer package manager and more so as you can see here from this actually from this bit here you can actually download and install it straight away inside visual studio but you can also get it done or download and install it inside the web browser through the microsoft i mean the visual studio marketplace so as you can see i've already got it like I've already got it installed so there's no point redoing it again so if you haven't done it yet then you have to download and install it from this bit here before you go and come on to the next stage so before we actually go on and create a new project with a P like with a, a new PHP project I will speak briefly what actually comes with the with the extension so extension comes with a smart PHP editor so it's a full support for PHP 5.4 apples php intelligence support for html css and javascript the smart tweak blade templating the real-time code validations and shows embedded documentations so we also have visual debugging here which actually provides support for breakpoints in php and javascript inspect variable watches immediate window and multiple session debugging it also provides support for html JSS, J javascript and css support so the visual studio html editor used 
So syntax highlighting, screen validation, formatting, outline commenting, full intelligence and web essential support. We also have a code navigation. That means browse declaration within your solution. Quickly search through the available symbols. Navigate directly to symbol definitions. Navigate to class and view object browser. Also provide support for integrated PHP manual, which is PHP functions and con constants and classes. Integrated documentations. Search available symbols while typing. And PHP docs supports. So we'll see it's right with none all this bit here. So we can go ahead and start with our new project here. So we go ahead by creating a new project. We go to the file, just like usual. So we go to the start window. So now, as you can see, here, we've got a new, like a new project start up here. So we, we can create a new project here. Yeah. So now, as you can see. We have got a create a new we've got a new project dialog here so we've got it inside we have um, all languages selected so here we can actually now scroll down and and preferably select our php language so from here as you can see we get the type of projects that you can actually create a type of php projects that we can actually create now so from the like this bit here we're only going to start with a php console application so we select the PHP console application and click on the next bit here. So here now we've got a configure new project dialog here. So here we can give our project a name, select our solution and location of the project. But it's not necessarily important here. So we're just going to leave it the way it is here now. So what we do here is we click on the create new project. So now we can wait for the new project to be created. Okay, so now that we've got the project created, we can just go ahead and run it for the first time and let's see what actually comes out of it, right? So we can actually run it by clicking on by F5 or clicking on this start here. So as you can see here, once it actually runs, yeah it it automatically closes the console automatically closes so we can have we can work around it by actually right writing the echo and then using two strings yeah uh let's it's not responding just give it a little movement so it wasn't actually responding so we can write the echo here then just an empty string with a semicolon so we can actually put the brick here and run it again. So now as you can see yeah, we've got the hello world actually printed out yeah. So I mean this is our first um, PHP console application running um, from the Visual Studio 2019 yeah. So we're just going to stop it here from running. So yeah, we can just, I mean, m declare a simple variable. We're just going to call it message. Set it to PHP in Visual Studio 2019. We add another variable we're just going to call this uh, variable message one there we can say hello people so instead of the echo so here we're just going to leave a bit space here with a, with a comma as well so we're just going to remove the hello bit here there we, we can put um the first message gonna add it to second message as well and let's actually see what actually comes out of it here so we're just gonna run it again
So as you can see here, we've got a zero displaying. That means we've actually got something wrong here. So let's put another plus and then double coat in the middle here. Let's let's see, let's run it again and see. So we're still gonna get that zero. That means we're not getting our strings being run. So we're just gonna leave it the first message. Then you can actually go ahead and, and, and play with it on your own time. So we're just gonna put the first message. So here, as you can see, yeah, we've got the first bit running, which is good. So, so what I'm gonna, I'm just gonna leave it here up to you so that you can just go ahead and do whatever you wanna do with it here. So. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please I suggest you do. And have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace and catch up again. Bye bye.